Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? You got Crypto Chuck back here with the Brew Crypto Black. We're back at it again, baby. Hope you guys are having a great uh, Tuesday. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying your time with your family. Hope you guys are relaxing, having a good time. And guys, I hope you guys are being safe out there, okay? So let's get right into it. So it's the SEC Commissioner Pierce says regulations should be slow, though crypto rules could be faster. Now it says the U.S. government operates at a slower pace than the private sector when it comes to innovation. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing, says Securities and Exchange Commission member Hester Pierce. Now, speaking Monday at CoinDesk Bitcoin for Advisors event with financial advisor Steve Sandusky, the second term commissioner shed light on how the security regulators is approaching financial technology innovation, including cryptocurrencies. Uh, regulators are slow and there's a reason we're slow. We need to have a process in place so that we can make sure when we're changing rules, people have noticed that they, where we're thinking about changing rules and they can comment, she said. Uh, so ideally, regulations and guidance would not limit which technologies can be used, allowing innovators to build a wide range of uh, complaint, I'm sorry, compliant tools and platforms. I said, that being said, Pierce noted that certain regulations are very dated and she and said she would like to see the agency move faster in certain areas, pointing to cryptocurrencies as one example. There are circumstances where we have a framework at the SEC that was built in the 1930s and 40s, added on, on overtime, she said, certainly now that we're seeing what's uh, happening in the crypto space, for example, there are areas where we're going to have to make adjustments, and I do think we should move faster. I'm a patient there. Um, I don't want to get too, you know, keep reading too much of this. It says, allowing token offerings to operate in a regulatory safe harbor like the one peers have pro proposed and creating retail access to Bitcoin through regulated products like an um, exchange traded fund are two areas where the SEC could move more quickly, she said. Uh, as how much influence the SEC five commissioners have on such decisions, she know that usually the agency staff approves or disapproves products like ETFs. The commissioners themselves do not normally get involved, but in the case of a Bitcoin ETF, we've been able to weigh in, she said. Other areas like approving broker dealers to provide digital asset services in the US are more uh, complicated due to the fact that there are multiple regulatory authorities overseeing these companies, she said. Asked about the future direction of SEC, given the, uh, the projection that former VP Joe Biden will be the next uh, president of the United States, Pierce said regulators are likely to continue working on crypto. I think uh, those things are tied together in the sense that certainly the president is the one who's going to nominate the chairman, but then, but even within, you've seen some really great steps taken by a regulator, like the office of the comptroller of the currency where the OCC sat down and said, hey, we're not only great at hand, uh, handling innovation, so it's set up in the office of innovation, she said. She also pointed to the fact that there are Congress people on both sides of the political aisle who are bullish on crypto and said support for the sector is bipartisan, which is pretty good, you know? So she don't seem like they're going, really going to go in too deep. You know, as she said, they're still trying to figure things out. Um, you know, she do say, think there should be some regulation. Do I think there should be some regulation? I do. I don't think it should be over-regulated. You know, I think people should be able to get it. I mean, let's face it, guys. You know, I'm one of those people where, it's, you know, not your key, not your crypto. I'm one of those people, it is my wallet, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, guys, a lot of us, we all trade on, we all trade on, uh, on centralized exchanges. We know that, uh, you know, you have to, you know, pretty much, I mean, seeing what, De what DeFi is doing pretty good. But uh, at the end of the day, a lot of us, most of us trade on, uh, uh, on, on centralized exchanges. And, you know, you know, you, you got to have some type of trust, right? When you put your crypto over there, and um, a lot of people still hold some of their crypto over there, you know, that's them, you know. But I don't recommend it. But a lot of people want their hands. Most people want their hands to be held. It's just that simple, guys. And I'm not gonna. I've spent a lot of time, a lot of years trying to help people, but I am done. So most people want their hand held. Let them hold their hand, okay, guys. Let them hold their hand and do what they gotta do. I don't say give give it away complete. Uh, you know, of, of crypto, the whole crypto space. But what I'm saying is most people want their hand to be held. So people like us and say, listen, man, not your key, not your crypto. Hey, man, I don't think y'all, y'all don't know, you know, you don't put your, you know, you don't want your, these banks, you know, be custodians of your uh, your crypto and blah, blah, blah. But people like, hey, man, I want to be able to pick up the phone and call. You know, I want to be able to do this and do that. So, 
you know, at the end of the day, guys, we gotta remember. Listen, these inst large institutions are gonna come in. I mean, we had a market cap about 440 billion, 450 billion right now. It's like pennies to them, you know, um, in regards to the, the major institutions and SEC and everything like that. Um, so right now, you know, it's, it's, it's pennies. But when you start getting to the trillions, uh, you know, say close to a trillion dollars, then they're going to start coming knocking on the door. They're going to want to come and start taking over. And then, you know, at the end of the day, guys, if we got to, if we did our job and did our part and they start, you know, they coming in and then they start putting, you know, major institutions start buying a, a ton of crypto and we did our part in the early stages and accumulate what we need to accumulate when they come to take over, you know, which is going to happen, you know, unless we all together and we all start uh, putting our own stuff together and start buying up stuff and become, become our own wells and major institutions, which I don't see people doing that. But so um, we got to look at it like that. You know, we accumulated when it was lower. We bought the Bitcoin was $500, $1,000, $200, dollars 300 bucks. You know, um, you know, and, and at the end of the day, you got to think about it. People that bought Bitcoin when it was a penny or $2, $3 or $5, they first got in. They don't, most of people don't really care right now, man, about what's going on right here. They don't really care. They're like, listen, they're looking at chops. They're like, yo, we good. We good. A lot of these people are billionaires. They're, they're worth, or a lot of other people worth hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, a lot of people worth 20, 30 million dollars that got in early. So these people don't care about what's going on right now. So at the end of the day, guys, we got to look at it and say, listen, well, we got in on the second stage. You know, we got in when, when Bitcoin is a few hundred dollars, when Bitcoin is a few thousand dollars, you know. And, you know, so when Bitcoin become a million dollars, two million dollars, three million dollars, we accumulated enough in the second stage that when the third and fourth stages hit, we're like, okay, yeah, we good. We looking at, we, we chilling now. We looking our chops now, you know? So that's how you got to look at it. That, that's, that's how I'm looking at it, you know? At the end of the day, they're going to try global uh, world economy. They're going to try to take over when you start seeing that market cap hit, you know, hit about a trillion dollars and institutions is going to come in. They're going to start taking over and that's, and that's how it's going to be. But us in the second stage, you know, we came in, we bought Bitcoin. We got enough of it or different cryptos, good cryptos. We got enough of it. So when they did take over, they got to buy our high, you know, I don't want to say the word, crypto. They got to buy our high A crypto <laughs> and that we'll sell to them and then we'll be sitting back and we'll have our freedom, you know. So that's what it's all about. But God, let me know what you think about this right here. I don't see them, you know, really going to, from what she's saying, uh, I don't see them going too hard right now in regulation on crypto. They say, okay, yeah, we're seeing, we try to do what we got to do. We move much slower, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, you do see some regulation. So, you know, let's let's try to get what we can get out of it before the heavy regulation kicks in. At least we know we already have what we have, and it's, it's not another roadblock ahead of us, all right? So, um, you know, I'd say just, 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 just drive down the road when it's much easier. Because you don't want to start driving down there when it's all messed up, when potholes and everything is there and they got tolls and blah, blah, blah to get things done. Drive down the road when everything is much easier, when things is not in front of you, messing and getting in the way. Because trust me, those toll booths gonna start coming up when it comes to crypto. And you don't want to be sitting there paying a lot of uh, uh, money to even get in the crypto. So you want to already have it. And sit back and enjoy the ride. But guys, I'll see you guys next video, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. She got Crypto Chuck here with the group Crypto Black. And also visit our website, www.cryptoblack.net. If you're brand new to cryptocurrency, you want to learn about it, you can go right to our website and actually uh, actually uh, take, take the course. That'll put you one or two years ahead of everyone else that's just getting into cryptocurrency. And if you guys have been in cryptocurrency for a while, you want to learn how to trade, you want to learn how, how the fundamentals, you want to learn the technicals, blah, 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 you guys can actually join the DCG group. The link is below as well to join the group. Uh, you know, you're definitely going to, you know, it's going to, you'll be the whole other level. You'll, I bring, you'll be into my world, basically, that I'm, uh, that I live every, every single day. You brought around a bunch of very, very intelligent investors. 
And if you say, you know what? Hey, I don't need that. I don't, I don't want to be in no group or anything like that. I just want to, you know, have the forecast. I want to see what it looks like for the month. I want to be able to see what coins, you know, what coins to get. I want to look and see, okay, what kind of, uh, what, doing what time frame to buy and blah, blah, blah. You guys can do that as well uh, by uh, just getting a report. And the link is below just for the report, uh, the monthly report. So, uh, yeah, guys, we got everything for you. So if you're brand new, intermediate, or you say, you know what? Uh, I want some camaraderie. I want to be around a bunch of different investors, smart people, blah, blah, blah. Then, you know, just check the links below, guys. And, you know, get you, get you started, get you ready to go. But we'll, we'll see you guys in the next video, next episode, in the next episode. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you, Sats and Chill. Crypto Chuck here with the group Crypto Black. We out of here, baby.